This video is brought to you by Rocketstock.com. In this video, we're going to create some really cool minimalistic lower thirds or titles inside Adobe Premiere. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So creating titles in Adobe Premiere is a little bit clunky, but creating very clean and simple title animations for lower thirds or just straight up for simple titles is very easy to do and just takes a little bit of design effort. So this video, we're gonna talk about animation and clean design and put it on top of some footage and it's gonna look great so you can use it for pretty much any of your video projects. So go ahead, jump in, let's get started. All right, here we are in Premiere and let's start rolling on this. So, so here's our background footage and maybe we wanna composite a title or a lower third. You can use this for either technique. So what we'll do here is go to File, New, and we'll create a new legacy title. Let's call it one and we'll click OK. And now we have the text editor here and we'll type out our first text. And I'm gonna type it in all caps because typography is important. And then I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna use one of my favorite typefaces called Gotham. And the reason why I like Gotham is because it has multiple fonts within it. So I can just change it from thin all the way to bold. And I'm going to make this bold. So this is our first title. I'm going to come here and just put this somewhere nice. Cool. All right. Awesome. I'm going to keep it there for now. And I'm going to click off this. And then I'll bring my title into our scene. And there's that. Then what I'm going to do is come here to my project window. And I'm going to copy this and paste it. And rename this to two. And I'm going to bring this title right above here. And I'm going to double click it. We'll type out our next title. All right, awesome. And then what we'll do here is change the font style to a lighter font, so this way we can have some contrast and we'll make the font size a little bit smaller. Awesome. And then we'll come over here and we'll bring this over to the sides and we'll actually make this a little bit smaller as well. Perfect. Cool, that should be fine. And we'll click off of this. So now we have two titles in here and we can move it around it as we see fit. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start adding a little design element here to make this look fine. So what we'll do here is we'll go to this new item icon down here at the bottom and we're going to add a color mat and we'll click OK and set this to white or really any other color you want. Click OK and I'll bring this color mat right above everything. What I'm going to do here is drag the color mat into our you know, effects controls over here, over here to make sure it's selected and it is. And what I'm going to do here is uncheck uniform scale and I'm going to bring down the scale width to like a very thin point so maybe one and we'll bring down the scale height and we can also bring you know maybe bring this to 0.5 for the width that's cool then i can come here to our position and just put this in place and maybe make the scale height a little bit bigger and then we can rotate this by a little bit so we'll go like 11 degrees nice that should be good i'll go like 13 on the scale height Nice, so it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more out there. Very cool. So what we'll do here is come to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for the scale height. We'll move this keyframe forward just by a little bit and we'll set the scale height down to zero. So now you'll have it opening up, that's great. And we'll select both keyframes, right click them and set it to Bezier. So now right when it's revealed, we wanna start adding on our titles. So what we'll do here is go to one of our titles and we'll do our main title first, which is one. And we'll add a keyframe for position. Move it forward just by a little bit. And we'll bring the X position over to the right side. Awesome. Then we'll go to our second title. We'll move forward just by a little bit more. We'll add a keyframe for that position. Move it forward just by a little bit. And move it over to the other side, to the left side here. So, boom, we want to be completely on the other side of that line. So now, you get something like this, and it's a little bit interesting. So let's go ahead and select all of our keyframes, right click them, set, go to temporal and interpolation. It's a little bit of a mouthful there, and click on Bezier. And then go to the first one, we'll do it again. So what we'll do here is grab our first text layer, right click it, and click on Nest, and we'll click OK. And then go to our second text layer, right click it, and click on Nest, and we'll do the same thing. So we have two nested sequences here. Then we'll go to our bottom layer here, and it should be selected once you click on it. And what we want to do here is grab the pen tool and we will just add a point right below our line and right above it. And we'll just kind of click a box around here. So boom, our first title is going to be completely revealed off before this animates on. And then we'll just do it to the second title as well. So pen tool. 
and just kind of off there close it up perfect and what we do here is select all of our title layers right click them and click on nest click OK and now you have the ability to click it and just move this around wherever you need to be and that's awesome so if you need it to be a main title we can easily do that so a nice way that you can add more elements onto titles like these inside of Premiere or any other you know editing software out there like After Effects, we can take a, take a quick look from a product from RocketStock.com called Aspect, which has 200 minimal motion graphics that can be quickly added to any sort of project. So we can come here to our Aspect folder, and these are all transparent elements. So I can come here to our custom lower third white folder, and I can quickly preview a motion graphic element here like this, and I can drag it on top of you know everything we just did and now we just added another motion graphic element to our title and of course we can just quickly change this up so we can bring down the scale width by a little bit and there's so much more motion graphic elements that you can quickly add to Premiere or After Effects or any other type of editor of your choice these are transparent motion graphics that can be added to pretty much any current work that you have so if you want to learn more about Aspect and also check out the other awesome templates over at rocketstock.com you can check our links in the video description so that's how you can create a really cool clean lower third or a simple title inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.